everyone, welcome to Sticky Notes. My name is Laura, and I'm joined today by my friend, Hamilton. We are members of Dakota, a group of New York City musicians dedicated to creating a more compassionate and connected world through music. Sticky Notes is a special series of music lessons designed for you to explore music from the comfort of your own home. And all you'll need are some sticky notes, a pen or a marker, and your imagination. If at any point you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so, and then restart when you're ready to move on. If any of the musicians on screen asks a question, you can shout out your answer. And if you have any questions about the lesson, you can ask your parents to post those questions on Facebook or Instagram using the hashtag Dakota Sticky Notes. Now, before we jump in, I want to introduce you to my musical instrument, the French horn. The French horn is a brass instrument, which means it's made out of metal. And in order to play it, I have to buzz my lips like this. And when I buzz my lips into the mouthpiece and the brass pipes of the French horn, it sounds like this. questions for me about the French horn, you can post those using the same hashtag Dakota Sticky Notes. Now, let's meet today's special guest. Hi everybody, I'm Hamilton and I play the cello, which sounds like this. If you have any questions about the cello, feel free to post them using the hashtag Dakota Sticky Notes. So today we're going to be playing around with rhythm in music using our sticky notes. So to start off, we're going to put four sticky notes in a row, like this. And we're going to play a musical guessing game. So on each of the sticky notes, we can either have a big X, which sounds like this, or two little X's, and that sounds like this. So now Hamilton, we have the first two sticky notes, but can you play all four of these sticky notes and we're going to try and figure out what sounds go on those sticky notes? Hmm, let's clap that rhythm that Hamilton just played. So if you have your sticky notes set up at home, you can try and guess what goes in these last two. We have a big X and another big X. So I'll clap that rhythm once again. So those are our first four sticky notes. Now let's set up four more. Keep this challenge going. Okay, Hamilton, can you play the next four sticky notes? Great, so let's clap that rhythm. Join me as Hamilton plays along with us. Okay, draw in what you think goes on each sticky note. Big X, two little X's, big X, two little X's. So now Hamilton, can you play both of these rows one after another?
Okay, now for a real listening challenge. We're gonna try and listen for eight sticky notes in a row. Let's hear it, Hamilton. Wow, that was a real listening challenge. If you have your sticky notes at home, you can try and make your guesses. Here's one hint. The third line sounds a lot like the first line. And in fact, it's the same rhythm. Big X, two little X's, big X, big X. Hamilton, can you play these two lines once again? And let's see if we can get these last four sticky notes all together. So let's try and fill in this very last line. You can clap the rhythm of lines three and four. So our last line has two little X's, two little X's, big X, big X. Nice job, everybody. We filled in all 16 of our sticky note rhythms. Now, this combination of big X's and little X's wasn't created by Hamilton and me. It was created by a composer named Johann Sebastian Bach. And in fact, Bach does one kind of creative thing, which is he adds a bonus sticky note right at the beginning, before the 16 that we already heard. So Hamilton, can you play all 17 of these sticky notes all in a row? And as you're playing, I'm going to point to each one as we go so we can try and track them with our eyes as we're listening with our ears. Here we go. <laughs> So now I'm going to play the entire piece that Bach created out of these two simple rhythms. See if you can follow the big X and two little X rhythms as they travel through a whole range of characters. <laughs> Thank you. 
and box rhythms as you were playing those bourrées. That's so interesting. But those were box rhythms. I think it's time that we make our own rhythms. So let's get rid of some of these. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'd like to make my own new rhythm. I think I would like something that sounds like this. Hamilton, could you play this one for us? Ooh, I like the sound of that. You've inspired me. I want to do a few more. So mm, this time I'm going to see if I can trip Hamilton up. So Maybe I'll do something like this. Hamilton, can you play both of these together? Okay, so now we want to hear from you. Here are some ideas that some people sent in. This is Megan's rhythm that she made. Hamilton, can you play this one? Well, that sounded cool. Thanks, Megan. And here's another rhythm sent in by Felix. So Hamilton, I have an idea. What if you play Megan's like you just did, and then I'll play Felix's? So let's hear these two in a row. Thank you guys for those cool rhythm ideas. If you made a sticky note rhythm at home, you can take a picture of it and post it using the hashtag Decoda Sticky Notes. Laura and I will choose a few and make a short video of your rhythm so you can hear what it sounds like on the French horn or the cello. If you're feeling like you want more of a challenge, you can make a sticky note rhythm at home and perform it yourself. You could perform it on musical instruments, objects from around your house, or just your hands or feet. We would love to see and hear those performances, so you can share them with us using the hashtag Dakota Sticky Notes. Thank you guys so much for helping us explore rhythm with our sticky notes. Before we say goodbye, I have a few things that I'm dying to know about Hamilton and his cello. Hamilton. What made you choose to play the cello? Great question, Laura. I was sick home from kindergarten one day, and I happened to see the great cellist Yo-Yo Ma playing on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which was my favorite TV show. And Yo-Yo played several pieces of music that described different emotions, and I thought that was so cool that I asked my mom if I could 
take cello lessons. And luckily there was a great cello teacher in Nashville where I'm from, and that's how I got started. And what's the silliest sound you can make on the cello? My favorite silly sound on the cello involves sliding with my left hand while I play on one of the lower strings of the cello. To me, it sounds like a cow. And now, Laura, I have a question for you. Why do you stick your hand into the bell of the horn? Thanks, Hamilton. That's a great question. My hand helps me hold up the French horn, and it helps me change the sound a little bit as I'm playing, like this. I can even move my hand around a little bit to make some kind of fun sounds as I play. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you had fun. If this was your first time with Sticky Notes, be sure to tell your friends and share this video. You can also subscribe using the button below. And if you love Sticky Notes and want to see future episodes, consider donating by visiting our website at dakotamusic.org slash donate. We hope today's musical ideas stick in your imagination and inspire you to create music at home. See you next time. Thank you.